Hello and thank you for watching this video. This video is part two and it's going to be about the replace command and the loop command, for example, for each X of raw list. So let's have a look first on the data sheet I created. Let's assume you are a professor at the university and your PhD student provides you with the data on the assignments of your students. Let's say you teach Irish love poetry, coding, math and art. And in each class, students had to hand in an assignment. And now you have some missing values. What are you going to do with that, right? So I'm, first I'm going to show you what to do technically. And please watch the video till the end because in the end of the video, I'm going to explain some theoretical background what you might, con might need to consider if you treating missing values, what may be important and what not. So having said that, let's just start. So as we can see, we have few uh, missing values and they, you can see in the cell, there's a dot. So, and we want to replace that for this purpose. If there's a missing value, meaning the students did make the assignment. So it's grade zero. Let's just assume the grading system is from one, uh, from zero till 10, where 10 is the best and zero equals the worst. So what we are going to do, first of all, as, as you know, and as hopefully you watch part one, we can use the replace command again. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's say we want to replace the missing values <coughs> from the class coding equals zero if coding is missing, right? So it made 12 free changes. So there are the zeros over here. So you can run the you can run these command with each class. But what are you going to do if you want to create a smoother and more efficient solution? Let's assume you have a data sheet with over 100,000 variables. So might be easier to run a loop command, right? So over a lot of comma, uh, variables, right? So what we are going to do is, well, I can show you that here, is we run for each X of our list. Let's say for two variables, math and art. And where are the brackets again? Yeah, just so and then enter we place X Jesus. So X with X. Yeah, it might be easier if you just copy and uh, pause this video and and copy the command, right? So should have done the same before starting the video, but um, yeah, it shows you how 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 it actually works and how slow actually data scientists are. So, and then don't forget to, to, to close it, but with the right bracket. So, and then that's, um, so just copy and paste it. I'm not going to dig into the background of that one. I, I just want to show you how to run it. So we're going to run it and it made a few changes and we're going to look at that, right? So it changed the missing values to zero in for math and art, right? So that's what what's happened here. Let's say uh, you want to dig deeper into that stuff. You can always type in help for each and Stata explains you step by step what actually happens and what's the meaning behind it, right? So you can read that for yourself quite easy actually. And that what happened here. So 
Let's see what happened. So now we have missing values um, eliminated with the grade of zero. And that makes for this purpose absolute sense, right? So, but Stata, Excel, and whatever program you use is just a tool to operate for you. You need to use your brain, your head first. Think about it. Think about three parts of how treating missing values. First, what happens if I still include them? What happens if I drop them? And what happens if I make them just zero, right? Depending on your research, you need to think about that first because otherwise you get biased results or wrong results, even worse. And let's assume you have some results and you explain them on, on a conference and people ask you, how you how did you treat the missing values? And you just say, yeah, I uh, dropped them and then or else I make them zero and then they look to you and say, yeah, but does that make sense if you drop them? Because people may have a value of zero, depending on your research, of course. And then you're standing on stage thinking, yeah, he's absolutely right. And I did made a mistake. So make sure to think about that. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and have a nice day.